Okay, so I am really excited about this update. This is the latest update to Keynote um, with iPad OS 14 just launching. Keynote got its update as well and has taken some of those features that you might have seen like Scribble and added them in, but there's also some really cool other features in there as well, even down to just how you're going to create your presentation. So let's jump in and have a look. Uh, this is a first kind of look at me other than a little bit of playing around. So let's just see what the potential is for this app. So I'm going to jump into Keynote. Nothing's really changed here. There's a few user interface changes, uh, your shared documents and, and everything's over on the left-hand side and you can add folders, etc., along the top. But let's jump in and start to create a new presentation and you'll see straight away you get a different choice here. So we could go into the themes, but we get this new option now of start and outline. Um, so I'm going to jump into this and show you what this looks like. Now, if you're like me, sometimes you know you've got to create a presentation, but you you kind of have the outline of what you want to do or you want to think about the outline and not necessarily go straight into the build. So what you get here is that opportunity to be able to create your outline and not really worry too much about the build. The build is going to happen over on the right-hand side and go in later and I can change the design and I can play around with what things are going to look like. I can add in uh, multiple slides. I can tap on the plus in the bottom right corner and it's going to add my next uh, slide for me. Um, but the whole time, it's just a really, really simple process um, to just tap on each one. And, and, you know, what's this going to be about? So this might be my agenda. Uh, you know, slide number three might be something else. I can also add in images into that if I want to. So I can tap um, on the paintbrush at the top and I can say, actually, do you know what? I want this to be an image slide. I can go straight in. I can choose the image. So it's, you know, it's all kind of a, just a different way of approaching these things. So if I go in here, I can choose the video or photos, whatever I might be using. I'm just going to drop that straight in. And again, I'm not worried at this point about the design. I just want to get the flow, the outline of what my presentation might look like. I'm going to just jump into uh, the slide view and jump into that presentation then. So it's kind of already started for me. I know that what's going to be on each page, I can have chosen in advance the templates that I'm going to use, but just a it's a really, really neat way for, for people to choose how they're going to get started with their presentations. You might be overwhelmed by the blank page kind of aspect at first. And you might have the content or the ideas in your head. Just just really, really cool way of just getting started with that. The next thing to look at then is the ability to use Scribble. If you've seen my other videos, you'll notice that Scribble is an absolutely awesome update to this. So if I tap on the pencil, you'll see that Scribble is now here built in. It's the pencil with the A on it, and it means that I can just do that so much more. Um, I still have the drawing functionality and all the animation features that you can do in Keynote and check out the other videos to show you what you can do with this. But I can also now you know, design my presentations with handwriting. So I can write on here. Oops. I'm going to try that again. I can write on here whatever it is that I want to add onto my slide. Um, it's going to just turn it straight into text for me. So again, that really, really quick access. If you're like me and use the Apple Pencil a lot, you're going to find this just a really, really neat way to just create your presentations, put things together, um, and just document everything on your screen really, really easily. Check out the other video um, on Scribble here, which will show you some other functions and other features for what you can do with it. And I'm sure I'll find even more as I go through. I you know, already noticed that there's an awful lot more options along the bottom. I can have my keyboard jump up. Um, I can change the font size. You know, I've got all of those things um, directly at my fingertips on the bottom of the screen, which is really, really easy, simple for me to use. So I'm definitely going to play around with this quite a lot um, to see what else Scribble offers me. There's a few other things as well, um, and one of them we've seen in pages in the last update. It's now come to Kino, and that is the ability to add YouTube or Vimeo videos directly into a presentation. So I can tap on the plus. I can now have the web video view. I've already uh, grabbed a video from YouTube. Oops, no, I haven't because I've copied something already. So I'm going to jump out, just quickly grab one of my videos from YouTube, grab the link. And then jump back into Keynote and paste this in. And you'll see really quickly, that's just added that in. And it's added it in as the, the cover picture or the thumbnail from YouTube. It's going to sit in my presentation. And if you've seen this already um, on previous uh, updates to Keynote, 
if I take that video and place it on another slide, it's gonna play across those slides as well. So now you've got that ability to really be creative with your presentations, think about uh, using YouTube videos to support learning. It could be a video that you've created and you wanna have text on the screen or you wanna transition it. There's so many cool things that you can come up with and I'm really excited to explore this further and think about how you can use this for remote and online teaching, how students can use this to be creative with their learning. It's just going to be an awesome tool for people to use. A couple of other things to just look at. Um, if you go to the share or the more uh, button, you'll see it's just a different layout in terms of uh, what you can use on your device things are just in a slightly different order um, it's more minimalistic um, i quite like it it's it's nice it just uses those simple shapes to be able to tell me what i'm going to do if i go into share something that we've we've used oops sorry not share export something that we've used quite a lot um, when i've been doing things is to export things as a movie you'll notice now that there are some additional things to change in here in terms of the resolution um, and the frame rate so just those those additional options. Um, but some of the other ones are still there, you know, choosing which slides you want to export. So if you've been doing animation, you know, it might just be one or two slides that you want to actually export to create a movie out of. So again, just some really, really nice touches in there to play around with. And there's one feature that I think is is above all the, the thing that's going to save people time when they're making their presentations. And that is the ability to search through your photos. So now I'm going to jump into the plus, go to media, choose the photos or videos. And, you know, in the past, I've been able to look through my photos, look through my albums, etc. Try to find those pictures that I want. Something that you can now do, which really helps, is you'll notice the search bar across the top. So you can search for something very, very specific because your, your iPad has uh, documented all of these things. It's doing that machine learning. If I type in snowboarding, it's going to find all the pictures on my device of snowboards or things that it recognizes snowboarding. And you can just grab those pictures. So save you time in having to search your whole device thinking about when you took the photo, what was the photo of. If you're anything like me, my organization is not the greatest at the best of times. Now I've got a really, really neat search function, which is just going to help me jump into things. There are also some sh new shapes in here. So, you know, we love the shapes. There's so many cool things in here that you can play around with. And every time there's an update, there's new shapes in here to explore, to play around with. Um, and a lot of the time, these are editable shapes, so you can play around with, with what they look like break them apart, colour them in in different ways. So again, you know, so much in this update. This is just scratching the surface. I'm sure I'll do some other videos looking at each of these features in a little bit more detail and think about it from an education point of view, what you can do with it in a classroom. But I'd love people to leave some comments in the comment section below with any thoughts, initial ideas that people might have of how they might utilise these new features in Keynote. So there we go. Brief overview. Hopefully you've downloaded it. Hopefully you've had a play with it. If not, Go grab it now, see what you can do, and tune into the next video.